Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about a groundbreaking new AI model that is changing the game in image generation. This is called Omnigen. Now you have probably heard and seen a lot of cool AI image generators out there turning text prompts into mind-blowing visuals. But most of these models are specialists. They excel in one specific task like text to image generation and some other models excel at another task for example image editing. But what if you could do all of these with one powerful tool? Now that's where Omnigen comes in. It's the first truly unified image generation model capable of handling a wide range of tasks within a single framework. Now think of it as the GPT of the visual world. So what can Omnigen do? So let's look at the paper. The paper's name is Omnigen Unified Image Generation. So what can it do? First is text to image. We see a cute cat hanging a card that says Omnigen, quality details, hyper realistic and high definition. Now this is the text to image. Another is a young woman with fair skin and blonde hair, dressed minimally. Okay. Then we have a person wearing a straw hat, walking a large lotus. So we have the normal text to image generation. Then we have reasoning. So where can I wash my hands? Please find me the right place. So we put in this image here and out comes a highlighted blue color highlighted of the sink where you can wash your hands. Now another is what can be used to hold the water in image one remove it so it correctly identifies that there is a small cup it identifies the cup and it removes the cup in the images that is pretty good next is subject driven in a cozy kitchen man one is chopping vegetables while man two is sitting nearby several delicious dishes are laid out on the table the man one is the person with closed eyes in image one Okay, and man two is the person who is in the middle of image two. So this is image one, this is image two. We see that the man is chopping vegetables and the person from the image two is just sitting there and we see and we see tasty dishes there. Next, in context learning, according to the following examples, generate an output for the input. So if we say input is this, then output is this, it shades the queen here. You can see that it selects the queen here. So if we give an input of this image, it will be perfectly able to shade the queen here. Okay. That is in context learning. Visual conditioning. So we see that this horse, uh, we generated a depth map of the horse. For this image, following the depth map, we generate a new image which is an old man is walking on the park. So this has been converted to the old man. Next we have step by step. So dramatic angle, blonde hair, long looking back at viewer turning head blue skirt. So you can see that step by step it is able to generate the image here. Next is image editing. So image in painting and change the color of hair to white. So this image it is able to change to white. So de-blur this image. So we can see that it's able to perfectly de-blur the image. Human pose, detect the skeleton in the image. So this is the person and this is the skeleton here. Now these are some of the examples we are going to test out the examples because they have indeed released uh, the code here, which is this Omnigen. I will paste in the link to the paper and the, the GitHub. But first, let us go through the installation process and set this up. So this is the GitHub page. I am going to be using a service known as Novita AI. So I have a link. You can go ahead and sign up with Novita AI. So if you go to console here, we can see that we have deployed GPU instance here. Once I click here, I have a few templates here. So I'm going to be using PyTorch 2.2.1. And then let's select uh, maybe the 409024 GPU. We click on deploy here and then click on next and then click on deploy as you can see the demand is service is just 0.35 dollars per hour and it's much better than having your own system own costly system
once uh, we have the system running we can go to connect here and click on connect to jupyter labs this is going to open up a jupyter lab for you now you can go ahead and play with it so first of all what i'm going to do is copy this because we're going to git clone this here so i'm going to go to my terminal here and, and then let's try to say git clone and paste in the link and we see that the git command is not updated here or the git library is not installed for this what you can do is that you can say apt get and update okay so this is going to update all the list of recent libraries which are available and it's not going to install anything it's just going to load up the the current libraries current versions of each of the libraries then what you need to do is i can say apt g g e t and then we say install git and dash y so this is going to install git for you once git is installed you can go ahead and do your uh, git clone now that's done i can say clear here and now i can do the git clone probably git clone the link so this is cloning into omnigen and you can see that it is successfully being cloned so we have this folder now on our gpu instance let's wait for it to download all the things and then we are going to go inside this folder and start up the gradio interface so 98 percent and almost and it's done now we say cd space tab and then we go inside the omnigen so we are inside the omnigen now now what we can do in the next step and of course all the steps are mentioned here if you go to the github repo you can see that we clone this first and we change then we do the pip install then we do the pip install space dash e and dot so this is going to install everything here so we go inside this omnigen and try to see what other things are available so if you go to this app.py then we see that this is the main app through which you will be able to interact now what i want you to do is set this to true so i can say share equal to true because when we are launching this as a gradio app we want it to open in our local systems now in the local system of gpu that is going to open but if you want to open in your local system you are going to need to share this and you will have a different ip or link to get this running in your local system so we need to change this to share equal to true next what you can do is if you want to run gradio we want to go ahead and pip install the gradio and spaces as well so we go ahead and do the pip install gradio and spaces you can go ahead and run the python app.py once this is installed we can go ahead and say python app.py let's wait for it to finish and this is downloading the model let's wait for the model to download and the downloading is complete and we see a local url here and a public url here so when we say in the app when you say share equal to true it spins up a public url as well you can go to this public url and open the gradio app but before that i really wanted to show you one of the errors that i've seen is sometimes the cuda version doesn't match with the pytorch that is installed so what you can do is whenever you have that issue of course you can go ahead and uninstall for example you can go ahead and uninstall pytorch so you say uninstall pytorch and then you're going to install pytorch again for installing pytorch you can go ahead to this website pytorch install you can go ahead and say start locally here so you can go down and you can select the required things so stable we are downloading for linux using pip python and cuda version is 12.4 so you have this code pip3 install torch torch vision and torch audio we go ahead and run this here how do you know your cuda is 12.4 here you can go ahead and say nvidia smi 
this is going to show you that your CUDA version is 12.4 and you have this GPU which is a 24 GB GPU okay so having said all that this is one of the errors that I faced earlier when trying this out but this time somehow it's working so we have this Gradio interface now now what we can do in this Gradio interface a little bit introduction is that we can type in your prompt here and outputs will be appear here in the output image you can put in reference images here so let's say the man in image one is walking and the man in image two is holding his hand so a new image will be created here showing both the persons we'll go through the examples but let me go through the settings here so we have the height uh, we have the weight of the image here guidance scale so if your image is not following your prompt then you can increase the guidance scale to the maximum that is going to absolutely follow your prompt if you want more creativity and let it uh, bring out more results more creative results for you you can reduce the guidance scale then image guidance is another guidance which will follow the image that has been uploaded here next is the inference step we have the seed we have maximum input size image then we can offload the model to the GPUs, to the CPUs, if your GPU doesn't support, but that will significantly slow down the models. Therefore, we are using a powerful GPU. Now, use inputs, image size as output. That is if you want the output size of the image to be same as the input. Now, here are different examples. So, what you can do is you can just click here and you can see that it has been filled up. So, if you want to put a reference image you do this like this so you say image slash image here and then you put the image one so the woman in image one waves her hand happily at the crowd now once you write this you just click on generate image and you will have the outputs so let us go and see uh, the bunch of outputs that we have so this is an example of the woman in image one waves her hand happily in the crowd and you can see that this image has been translated into this image and you can see she is waving at the hand a man in a black shirt is reading the book and that man is the right man here in image one so we want this person to be wearing a black shirt and reading a book let's see the output there we go it's a perfect image it's perfect we see that this person has been translated here and we see that it's reading he's reading a book and wearing a black shirt next is a man and a short hair woman with a wrinkled face are standing in front of a bookshelf in a library the man is the man in the middle here so we want this man and the woman is the oldest woman in image two so who do you think is the oldest woman i think the woman on the left i'm kidding the center one is the oldest one therefore we have this image we can see that the clothes has been translated as well for the woman and for the man he decided to put on a suit a black color suit and that is amazing next the flower in image one which is this blue flowers is placed in a vase which is in the middle of image two so we want this flower to be placed in this middle vase which is green or pastel green in color in a living room wooden table living room and you can see the output here we go so we have the living room we have the wooden table we have that same vase and that flowers placed in the middle of the room we have this image here we want to remove the earrings of the women here woman here and we want to replace the mug with a clear glass filled with sparkling ice soda so here you go the earrings have been removed and the mug has been replaced with sparkling ice cola next a man and a woman are sitting in a classroom desk the man is the man in the yellow hair so the center man we are talking about the woman is the woman on the left so we are talking about this uh, colored hair woman the stripes hair woman and we have this image here so the man decided to change the attire here but the face is consistent uh, he is wearing a watch as well the woman you can see the hair color is consistent she decided to wear a black top next we can detect a skeleton so we have this person the image is this we want to detect a skeleton and we have this skeleton and using this skeleton you can give out other images as well next the woman 
two women are raising a fried chicken legs in the bar a woman is the woman in image one okay the other woman is the image with curly hair so you can see that the curly hair woman is this one and the first woman is this because she is the only woman here and you can see this image that is perfect we can see that this is the woman here and this is a woman here although we can increase the guidance scale and now you have your system running on a virtual gpu using a radio interface and that is pretty cool i hope you like this video i hope you like omnigen i hope you like the process of setting this and i hope this is an easy uh, steps that i've explained everything for you to set up you can go ahead and try you can go ahead through my link for novita ai and uh, get one of the instances and try this out this is amazing and now doing this exercise uh, will set you up for other projects as well because i've seen a lot of people struggle with working with virtual gpus or cloud gpus and now this is an amazing step so this is omnigen i will see you in the next one